So it looks like we've got some inner packing here. Let's see what is inside the bubble wrap. How's it going, sports card fans, wrestling collectors? This is Tom from Collect Wrestle Palooza. How are you on this national weekend, or at least it's the national at the time of this recording? I think the national is so important to the hobby, particularly in this age of social media, when social media content and people accessing social media content really dictates the spread of information and the excitement around the hobby. I know wrestling cards, for instance, have gained a following, I think primarily because of social media and social media content and the only thing that troubles me right now is I don't see a lot of wrestling card content out there so if you're making wrestling card content thank you if you're making wrestling collecting content thank you any content in general in social media is great but particularly focused around this niche within the sport that I love which is professional wrestling so today my contribution is another mailbag video I have three parcels to open up let's get to it let's see what I got Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. So if you're new to this channel, the way these videos work is I buy a bunch of stuff, it collects up on my bench, I pick two or three at random, I don't know what's inside, and then we open them together. I'm going to start with the box this week because it just got dropped off on my doorstep and I have no idea what's inside. So it looks like we've got some inner packing here. Let's see what is inside the bubble wrap. Aha! This is from Germany. I wasn't sure because the return label said New York, New York, but that must be part of the international shipping program. Uh, but I did purchase these from a German seller. I was tracking it for a little while. These are the Quartet Amigo Spiel. I hope I'm pronouncing that at least close to accurate. Uh, playing cards, wrestling cards, I'm not exactly sure what to call them, but I have set number three. I have set number seven and I have set number six and I am super excited to own these. Uh, they're pretty short print, I think, or at least they're hard to find, uh, particularly in the United States. And they're from a time period in wrestling that I like to collect, which is around the mid nineties or early nineties before the Attitude Era and after the Golden Age. And the reason I like to collect from that era is we have some burgeoning stars like The Undertaker starting. We've got Yokozuna and we've got rookie cards from Yokozuna in this set. You still have the Ultimate Warrior, you have Bret Hart, you have Hulk Hogan, you have a who's who, but it isn't a time when wrestling was super popular because there was that transition into the Attitude Era. So I don't think they produced as much stuff. You know, British Bulldog is in here. You got Crush, you got Kona Crush. Uh, you know, all kinds of superstars, like I said. So I'm going to be doing another video that's all Amigo Spiels. I don't know much about them. I want to research it. I have a feeling there's more rookies than just Yokozuna in this series. Uh, but I also have a feeling that there's a couple of different iterations in the card back, and some of them are rarer than others. I'll tell you a story about that uh, if I get to the other cards that I purchased in this series. But uh, these are the complete sets. Like I said, there's a number of them. Um, and I bought three of them direct from a German seller. Can't wait to feature more of this content on my channel. Next, we're doing the padded envelope. Let's see what's in here. This contains another box inside. Well, that's packaged. Look at that. It's got a big chunk of styrofoam on a piece of cardboard. I've never seen packaging like this. Uh, must be something pretty special. And we have got what is this? Ooh, WrestleMania 3, 1987. However, this is the OPG one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, it says OPG right above my finger here is where it would normally say tops, but in this case it says OPG. I've wanted an OPG from this series. This is the 1987 WWF, not only because OPG is generally rarer and a shorter print because it was made in Canada, where they did not produce as many cards as they did in the United States, but also because the 1987 WWF cards feature the Bret Hart rookie, who's a Canadian. That's a grail card of mine. I don't think it's incredibly hard to find, but they're pretty valuable. But I want to pull one myself. I want to get a Bret Hart rookie both in the tops and in the OPG lines. So I bought one OPG uh, wax pack. We're going to open it on this channel. Wish me luck in advance. I'm hoping that it contains the Bret Hart rookie. 
And the last package today is the standard envelope. Let's see what it contains. And we've got another pack inside. And this is, oh yes, glitter glove stickers with bubble gum. I don't know anything about this, but I just thought it was cool. So I bought one of them online to open on the channel at some point in the future. Uh, it is from 1984, it's Fleer. Um, and I don't know if this is pictures of gloves. I don't know if this is uh, sparkly cards. I just thought it was kind of neat considering the abundance of parallels and sparkle cards today to get something that looked like it might be sparkly from way in the past in 1984. So I'm guessing it's the Michael Jackson glitter glove craze. I know that in the early 80s to mid 80s, he wore that one sequined glove and everyone went crazy for glitter gloves so I'm guessing it's something to do with that but I don't know I was gonna research it learn more about it and like I said open it on this channel and that does it this week what are you collecting are you at the national yourself what do you think about the state of wrestling cards in the hobby do you think we're doing good do you think we're putting out enough content would you like to see more uh, do you see any wrestling cards at the national I know last year was a pretty big year for wrestling cards to become a real thing so as that momentum continued post some comments let us know how you're doing more importantly though have fun stay healthy happy collecting be good to each other Collect a wrestle palooza. Collect a wrestle palooza.